Good morning, everybody. This is a very, very tired JD. Till like three, four in the morning, I had talked to several people about my campaign. Why? Rob Paul and I are very close together with the things we say. The difference is there's a thin line between Ron Paul and I, which is called the Constitution of the United States. <coughs> there's a practical line between Ron Paul and I called what works and what doesn't work. Ron Paul has got one direction that he goes into, but that can't be the case for our president. For example, he would say get rid of the Department of Education and I'd make it next to defense the next greatest department. Now you might say why would I do that? To hold the teachers, to hold the education of this country responsible. See I was here in Norfolk before they had the standard tests and I could tell you they were passing people graduating from high school who could not multiply three times one. They had no idea three times one is three. And these were high school graduates. See, in Norfolk at a time, if you handed your homework paper in, it didn't matter whether you did anything on it, you scribbled, scribbled lines or anything. As long as you handed in your homework paper, you got a 75 for a grade. It didn't matter whether you learned anything. But that ain't what this video is about. <clears throat> and this video isn't about me and Ron Paul. What this video is about <clears throat> is us. A lot of you say, it's rigged. There's no way you can win. You're not pre-selected. The electronic votes are going to say what they want to say, not what, what we vote. And I tell you this. It may be like that a little, but it's not like that completely. Yes, me winning the 2012 election is going to be hard. Yes, me winning the 2012 election is going to be very much against all odds. Come and get it. Yes me winning is going to be extremely difficult oh. <clears throat> but the truth of the matter is when I win the election compared to the job that lies before me it's going to be easy the difficult job is correcting putting our nation on the path that our forefathers, a nation that is there, a government that's there to assist the people, a government that's there to understand, as Benjamin Franklin once said, America's business is business. Not ruling the world, not regulating other people, not even regulating a lot of business. It is business. It's the people <clears throat> and what they do in this country that makes us great. Not a single thing co Congress does. What makes us elite, what makes us different, what makes us free is that there is a government that's supposed to be there to assist us not restrict us, not rule us, not regulate us. Day by day though, Congress is trying to turn that away. Congress is trying day by day to make the United States government like the rest of the governments of the world. That we are going to stop. So yes, I will admit the odds of me winning can be very astronomical or it's going to be very much great in our favor. 
but there's only one factor that's going to make that that way. <clears throat> and that's you out there. Each and every one of you. I asked a question on Facebook. Where is the United States of America's government? Clue. It's not in Washington, D.C. That is but the seat a figurehead of the government of the United States of America. Another clue. We the people, by the people, for the people. That points you straight to the answer. So then where is the government, federal government of the United States of America? It's in you. Each and every one of us, the American citizens. Inside us is the government. And how we apply ourselves towards that government is what our government becomes. you got to understand you are the key to the success of our nation. Not the federal government. Not a candidate. You are. And yes, like I started last night about 7 o'clock in the evening with an argument with one person that ended up within that discussion to the point where the person almost totally agrees with me. And then I, he said he would be seriously considering to vote for me. I said, no, don't vote for me. Check me out. Understand what I stand for. Understand I am, and that's all I'm going to be, is a represent representative of you. <clears throat> when I say I'm bringing you to Washington, D.C., I mean it. Congress is going to hate me for the first six months. And I told the truth of what I feel about Ron Paul. Our nation needs him in Congress more than anywhere else. I need people like him in Congress where he can maximize his abilities for this nation. But you see, I'm looking for the nation, for you, for the people. I'll be honest with you, five years ago, I didn't have any idea that I'd be running for president. <clears throat> I was happy. Everything was going along fine, even though I may have been laid off. No, I wasn't laid off. Then. I was working at my job. Just knowing this is what I was going to do until I'm 70, and then... But things happened. Things changed. And I always swore, ever since I was little, that it was there ever a time when there was nobody to vote for, that I myself would run. And in 2008, there was nobody to vote for. So I did. But I made a promise in 2008 that if I did not win the election, but there was just one supporter, I would go on to 2012. <clears throat> so here I am <clears throat> telling you all this. And I have 519 videos right now on YouTube, all of them made by me. All of them talk about different things. I don't expect any one of you out there to see a view all 519. But I do expect you to go and check it out. Pick out the things that matter to you. If they got titles, you can figure out what they're for. I'd say 99% of them is not bashing of anybody, is talking of programs and talking of where things are lacking. <clears throat> and see <coughs> what JD is saying. <clears throat> and understand, you, the people, are the answer to the problems of this country. You, the people, are the key to fixing these problems. I'll just be pointing in the direction. But you, the people, are the ones that are going to make everything happen. That includes all you that vote and you who do not vote. 
all of you need to band together. We can put our nation back on the path of our forefathers. A nation that is there to assist the American citizen in the pursuit of their dreams, their livelihoods, frugal government is one that does not build itself upon the labors of its citizens and robs the fruit of those labors out of the mouths of the citizens' family. That's what a frugal government is. <clears throat> Least government is best. Fair, equitable tax systems not directly levied on the individual. For taxes there must be. A solid, rounded nation there to assist each and every American citizen to the utmost of their potential is what the United States federal government is supposed to be. And that is what makes us elite. That is what makes us different. When our government becomes the same as in Europe, their governments, and many around the world, we will have lost that that made us different. We can't lose it. But it's not me that's the answer. It's you, the people. <clears throat> and believe me when I tell you, you think me winning the election is going to be hard and almost impossible? Compared to the job that lays before me, it's easy. You have no idea how difficult of a job, how serious of a job, that lays before me. I get to see it all around me. I get to see what you are all experiencing. I get to see your frustrations. I get to witness daily. I see people who are losing their homes have given up all hope. I get to see people looking for jobs week after week after week, finding nothing but things like McDonald's and Burger King, <clears throat> waitresses or restaurant. You know, a waitress makes only two, three dollars an hour. I get to see the menial jobs out there. I get to see people losing hope. That's what I get to see every day. And that's the things we need to turn around. And we, you and I, yes, you and I will do it. Just as surely as we will win the 2012 election. Even though it may be rigged, it may be stacked up against us, and all the political bodies may do all kinds of things to stop me. It will only happen through you. You all are the answer. And you all are the key. <clears throat> Understand we can win and we will win. And notice I said we. Because it is. It's you and me. And yes, it is a very difficult. From winning the election right on to straightening up our nation. None of it's going to be easy. This is J.D. Have a nice day.